Okay, that's green screen. And I'm gonna show you how you can do green screen. And I'm just gonna give you a, a few little other demos of some other green screen kinds of things that you can do. And then I'll show you the technical side of it. I mean, that's a video playing in behind me in the background. That's an image of my library. It's just an image. And then this is just a monitor capture of, of, uh, of, a, of a globe I created. And I'll provide links for all these different things I'm, I'm demonstrating to you. There are, there are another, another examples here. Another one uh, of nice little 2D thing. Another animation, some stars. You may have seen those before. Oh well. Um, and what I'm using is a program called uh, Open uh, Broadcaster software. Um, there's a, a there's a there's a studio there's Ops Studio. I'm not using that. So you scroll down, and I'm using Ops Classic, and that's what I'm using. Ops Classic is uh, for me a bit easier, and the uh, the control panel looks a bit like that. Once you've installed Ops and you, you open it up, you'll have a program that looks a little bit like that. You're running in, yeah, that's it. That's the program. Uh, there it is, open broadcaster software. The thing you'll need is a webcam. I've got a HD webcam that I bought off the internet. And for your background, you can use uh, as many choices as I've got the CLR browser, which I've got something pre-selected there. You can have an image, or you can have uh, the monitor monitor capture, like a, and have an application in the background, or um, any other, the other demos I showed you before. I'm just going to turn off all those sort of background sources and just demonstrate just the video capture part of it first, because this is this is the most important bit to start this off is I configure the, the webcam. So this is what it will look like when you first start it up. Make sure you got a, the color you use in the background should be as consistent as possible. I mean, this is a green curtain I got for, for really cheap off the internet, about 12 pounds or something. And uh, the color's not that consistent, but it's pretty good. Try and aim to get a background color, which is really consistent. So you've got light greens and you've got lots of, I've got a lot of dark green, dark greens, I, uh, I can work with that and uh, I'm just going to show you the, the tricks first. Get your, get your um, camera, sit, configure your camera here and depending on what camera you've got, you've probably got different options. But here, for me, the most important ones are the white balance. See the white, how the white balance has such an effect. I always turn it down. Usually when, it, when I first install it or start it up, it's... It's been set on auto, and for me, I don't like it, so I just turn it off and I turn it all the way down, like that. I then go into uh, contrast, and I just adjust the contrast slightly, just to get because I don't because that, because it's never never right either. So I, for me, about 46 is pretty good. And on camera control, I my I often have problems with my focus, so I've got to turn you know put that down to zero as well. And that's good, and that's important for me for before I turn the, the chroma key on. Now I turn it on. Oh, it's already set really well, but I'm going to turn them all off so that you can uh, see see what happens when I change each of these settings. Okay, so everything's set to zero. So similarity is has the most effect, and you can see now what's going on when I change the similarity. The background is slowly dis the green is slowly disappearing. I have it usually above 100 and it works pretty good, but you can see down in my shoulder, it's still not it's still not perfect. Actually, you know, this is pretty not, not too bad. Normally, you need to mess around with, with similarity and blend. Spill reduction never really does much for me, but um, it might for you, but it's good to have these options. I'm gonna turn that up. And that's it. That's most of most of it, my background hidden. Just doing that, and they are my settings. Now I can.
demonstrate again turning on these different background options that is a is a video scene that I can set on um, repeat if I wanted to it looks pretty good I think uh, there's I'll turn it off I'll turn off on the there's an image that I've just got on my desktop of the of the of, the, of a library and then or I just capture my second monitor and I've got a whole bunch of applications open in the background such as um, you know Sweet Homes 3D which I've made lots of these tutorials you might have seen them uh, if I just get rid of that and have a look at say um, the internet browser and have a look at say some of the uh, other other animate uh, things I've created in the past um, that's that is a, a model I can I can send you a link link to that but that's you know you can see the effect is quite good my hair is a little bit green around the edges there we might be able to fix that up a little bit let me just give that a try um, you sort of use these these little thingies down here so we'll try spill reduction oh, I don't really see it ever doing anything blend blend you know it's quite hard I mean isn't the green background is probably the reason why you get like a green tinge so if I used say a gray background it might work out better whatever it's, you know it's just, it's just home stuff and it's, it's good enough for YouTube okay uh, let's have a look what else I've got that is um, an animation oh yeah now I'm going to show you how to do um, an overlay this this monitor capture here this is uh, if I look at the panel th these dots these circles are coming from my uh, from uh, my monitor capture you know source there's the image and there's the monitor capture source and in that I can set use I can also set the color key for that and I'm going to set that to being you know being being black which it already it already is transparent so if I turn the if I turn that image on and then I move this monitor capture up this monitor capture source up one using control and up arrow you can see that it now overlays over that now if I perhaps I want the circles to overlay over my my face as well so I can just move that over the video like that see uh, and if I want the circles to be above my obs panel source I can move it up one more now the circles are above the everything I can turn off the image turn on the background scene again this background video and everything is above that let's see what other little little things I can do uh, no there we go that's a that's like a crystal ball animation I made once try that one that's the stars the stars is another one that might work pretty well let's so the stars are going in front of my face here um, let's put them in front of they're in front of the ops panel and they're in front of the image let's put them in front of the the scene of New York look at that wow what else have I got and that's my earth okay so that messed up effect is because of my uh, I've, on my monitor capture I still have color selected okay um, let's just reorder that below the video source this is complicated stuff and you do need to play around with it a lot um, the important thing though is that you can do this yourself using not much just a webcam uh, probably a, a pretty decent computer doesn't have to be I'm pretty sure it's most computers can do this these days um, you, and I'm using OBS Classic um, versus the OBS Studio I find that just better at the moment so um, and that's what you're seeing that's what I'm demonstrating 
even though that everyone's being encouraged to, to down upgrade to Ops Studio. I'm still using Ops Classic. And uh, you too can have really, yeah, you can do this too. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. I will, if you've got any questions or if you want to see anything in more detail, I can try that again. I'll provide links to these different backgrounds that I've that I've I've got. And uh, let me have a look at another another one I created. You, you know, once upon a time this all this would be super, you know, super expensive production. Now you just you can just do it yourself. It's like amazing building your own own little television shows at home yourself. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.